So the next step in this project is to spray paint. First I need to do a little bit of touching up just with like pliers, just pull off there a few strings and just like little bits of plastic that I just need to pull off. But let me show you what it looks like on. So it fits me like exactly perfectly, which I'm so glad because when I first took the supports off of it, I was really afraid it was gonna be too small, but here it is. And I think the horns need a little bit of sanding down because they don't quite fit in the circles for them, but here's like a preview. So I'm thinking about actually attaching these with Velcro so that I could change one of these out to make it Sylvie's because she has the cracked horn so I could do that as one of them so I'm not really sure about that but I think that would be cool so also I could travel with them say if I was going to Disneyland and I wanted to wear this to the Avengers campus I could um, take off the horns and then put them safely in my bag so I'm gonna get some cardboard and go outside and spray paint this with gold um, but before I do that I just want to clean it up a little more and I wanted to show you guys before I do anything else So it is time to show you guys the final product. I love how it came out. I'm like obsessed with it. So here it is. It it just looks perfect to be honest. Um, you can see the Velcro a little bit around the sides, but I think that's fine because it just looks like a shadow. So I'm gonna put it on. Um, I'm not going to adjust it or anything because like over my hair, it kind of just makes a big bump in my hair, but I can pull my hair over it and it just fits so well and it looks so good. I'm so happy with how it came out. So I'm going to link the pattern that I used down below. It was free, so um, I'm very thankful for that because the last pattern that I used, I think it was like $4 and it was just so big. So I printed it and I mean, it turned out fine, but it was just very, very, very large. So this time I measured it and I scaled it down. I did 90% of the pattern size after I like measured the widest point and it just fits absolutely perfectly so I'm really glad I did this project I'm glad I tried again even after all the times that the print failed last time so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed watching me 3d print this it was definitely quite a um, process waiting for the main piece to print because it failed three, three hours in and then I had to paint on more supports but thankfully it worked the second time, so um, I mean it wasn't too bad, and then I just sewed the strap together. I used a strap that my mom had in our sewing stuff. It has a tightener on it so that I could make it a little tighter if I wanted to, if I wanted to like move it around on my head. Um, and I used sticky velcro to attach it to the sides here, and also the horns come off. So in the future, I'm going to print out a Sylvie horn and then I can take it off and switch them out so yeah let me know what you guys think I think it turned out great um, it was a really fun project make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosie Revolts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosie Revolts and my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I'll see you guys later bye